Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of June in regards to love and romance. Let's get into it. All right, Capricorn, woof, starting off pretty strong, pretty heavy. We have the Three of Swords. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a situation where there was hurt, uh, perhaps feeling betrayed, um, not necessarily stepping out of a relationship, but it could have been news that you were definitely not prepared for or you weren't expecting. Now, you do have the King of Cups here, and this is your current obstacle. For So for some of you guys, this could have been a, a, a situation where you've been dealing for quite a while, perhaps in the past, um, there was heartbreak. And I see you guys overwhelmingly protecting yourselves or protecting your heart and protecting your emotions. While others of you could have experienced a situation where you found out that the partners had stepped out of the relationship. With the King of Cups as an obstacle, this indicates to me that you guys are extremely blocked on an emotional level. So you're having difficulty expressing your hurt. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you are kind of trying to use some type of escapism, could be drinking, uh, could be uh, physical connection for some of you guys even. Um, so what I mean by that is that for some of you guys, you have a tendency of stepping out of relationships, going from one partner to another, not necessarily because you're doing it on purpose, but it has more to do with the past trauma that you went through. Now, the past and passing was the page of wands. So for some of you guys, it could have been a situation where there was rumors. For others of you, it could have been that um, it could have been, you know, rumors that came your way that were letting you know about the discretions of your partner. Now, I do have the page of swords. So here's the thing. What they're telling me is that for some of you guys, it could be in the present you have difficulty in relationships because of a past relationship. And it's almost like it becomes very difficult for you to connect or to open up. And it has a lot to do with the fear of getting hurt again. While others, it could signify a situation that you're currently dealing with where there was some type of, some type of situation where the partner wasn't completely honest with you. Perhaps you pulled away. I do have the page of swords here. So I definitely see someone looking at you, Capricorn. They're either looking at your social medias. They're either reaching out to friends, wanting to know exactly what's going on in your life. You do have the wheel of the year here. So things are quickly changing for you. You have the high priest. So I think that for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, commitment is coming towards you, whether you're ready or not. But what they're telling you is if you're still holding on to past experiences from past relationships, it is important to acknowledge, yes, I've been hurt. Yes, I trusted and that trust was broken. But it doesn't necessarily mean that everyone that comes towards us is going to break our trust. And trust is not something that is easily given. Um, so what they're telling you is keep an open mind and an open heart, Capricorn. You do have commitment being aligned. So for some of you guys, it could have been yourself that you stepped out of a relationship that you quickly came to regret because you cared for the person. You love them. Um, you just didn't know how to be loyal or be committed and it could be because of past traumatic events for you so again this is a very complex situation but what they are saying is that commitment is in your grasp and i do see it coming towards you like i said whether you're prepared for it or not but ultimately if you are looking to give yourself Okay, not give someone else, but give yourself the opportunity, Capricorn, of being happy. You got to learn to bring your walls down. You got to learn to open up. Uh, only then will you be able to uh, 
connect with people on a deeper level and not only that but often finding yourself or feeling like you're just not understood how can you be understood if you're not allowing people to get close enough to get to know you now you do have here the king of wands for some of you guys you may be dealing with a fire energy for others you may be dealing with a water sign but i see the fire energy coming towards you leo sagittarius aries and you're coming up in your own reading capricorn so i see you guys being more confident believing more in yourself perhaps some of you guys even finding um that there is this immense attraction towards someone that is in your inner circle so it could be a friend of a friend it could be someone that you you're aware of and you know them and you admire or appreciate the, that they're so confident that they're so strong that th there is something about them that almost screams authority <laughs> like power type of energy and i see you guys being very attracted to that but again here's the thing if you're dealing with someone that from a distance this is you from a distance looking at them what they're telling you here uh capricorn is that you may actually surprise yourself and find that you guys have a lot of things in common and that you can actually have the possibility of this growing into something more than just friendship but you got to believe in yourself. You got to be more self-confident in yourself, Capricorn, and know your worth. Now, you have the two of pentacles. I see you guys like kind of hesitating or questioning or wondering if they're interested in you or not. If you are currently dealing with someone that's got your attention. Again, it could be that they've gone through a difficult situation where they just they're at a point right now where. It, it becomes very difficult for them to open up. But if given the opportunity or if you if you would prove yourself that you, you know, are interested in them or that, you know, that you are basically straightforward with them, letting them know that you're interested in them, you may actually come out of this being very surprised. Why? Because the two of pentacles is all about balance, but it all it also speaks about kind of the, the mental talk that we do in our head when we're trying to make a decision and sometimes we don't make decisions or we don't take action out of fear. So once you're able to remove the self-doubt and you actually go for it with the wheel of the year, this could be the relationship you've been looking for, Capricorn. There you go. This could be um, potentially something that is long-term. So don't let the lack of your self-belief or confidence get in the way of your true happiness. For some of you guys, this could be a person that is already around you or that knows people uh, in your friend's circle. Um, and again, if you are coming out of a relationship that just didn't work out for you, uh, you may actually surprise yourself because uh, this person at a distance may seem very confident, very strong, very authoritative. Um maybe even like cold in the sense of like like to them love is like not something that they're looking for but you get to know them on a deeper level and you will quickly find out that you guys have a lot of things in common and one of them could be that of the importance of integrity in a relationship and this is something that this person holds very dear uh integrity above everything so Go for it. <laughs> Go for it, Capricorn. I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see each other soon. Bye.